On December 10, 2025, a major meeting regarding the certification of vital domestically manufactured helicopters took place at the Coordination Center of the Government of the Russian Federation. The event was held during the 14th regular session of the Aviation Equipment Certification Headquarters. The session was convened as part of the special project called Civil Aviation. The meeting was presided over by Dmitry Yadrov, the head of the Federal Air Transport Agency, also known as Rosaviatsia. The meeting concentrated on three Russian helicopters across different weight classes. These included the lightweight multipurpose Onsat M helicopter and two medium multipurpose helicopters, Mi 17 1A3 and Ka 62. Representatives from industry, specialized research institutions, and Rosaviatsia received comprehensive reports on the current progress of import substitution and certification efforts for these aircraft. The meeting held on December 10 represented an important step in the implementation of the state initiative dedicated to the development of Russia's civil aviation industry. This program is intended to strengthen technological sovereignty, modernize the national aircraft fleet, and increase the availability of aviation transport services across the regions of the country. In recent years, the Russian aviation sector has actively shifted its focus toward domestic components and technologies in response to sanctions and restrictions on foreign imports. The participation of a broad range of specialists, including representatives from civil and defense industries, as well as specialized scientific institutions, illustrates a comprehensive government approach to addressing the challenges of import substitution in aviation. These challenges are strategically significant not only for national security, but also for critical infrastructure needs such as air ambulance services, regional passenger transportation, and connectivity for remote areas in the Arctic, Siberia, and the Far East. As a result of sustained efforts, Russian aerospace enterprises are progressively developing domestic expertise in the production of all essential helicopter systems and components. This includes engines, transmissions, avionics, and integrated control systems. The state support program for the aviation industry is aimed at developing several generations of helicopters that incorporate predominantly or entirely domestically manufactured components. This objective is critically important for the stable advancement of the sector under conditions of ongoing sanctions and limitations on foreign suppliers. The ANSAT-M light multipurpose helicopter is one of Russia's key platforms for civil aviation. It is designed to carry up to eight passengers and is suitable for a wide range of missions, including commercial transport, air ambulance operations, corporate travel, pilot training, and other specialized roles. The ANSAT-M program gained renewed momentum through the implementation of an import substitution initiative. This initiative required the complete replacement of all foreign components, including the power plant. The new engine, designated VK650V, was developed by the United Engine Corporation and represents a major step toward full technological independence for the platform. The domestically produced version of the ONSAT-M performed its first flight on September 2, 2025. By December 1, 2025, all bench certification programs had been successfully completed. Initial flight testing had also progressed, with at least 10 flights conducted as part of certification preparation. According to the leadership of the Design Bureau at the Kazan Helicopter Plant, which is responsible for the development of the ONSAT-M, the certification process is proceeding according to schedule. The completion of all required tests is expected in the near future. Particular attention is being given to evaluating the performance of the new engine, the flight control systems, and overall airworthiness. The domestically developed ONSAT-M has already attracted interest on the international stage. The helicopter was displayed at the Dubai Air Show in 2025, where it received positive feedback. This demonstrates the aircraft's potential, not only in the domestic market, but also for export to the Middle East and other regions.
The first serial deliveries of the Ansat M equipped with the VK 650 V engine are expected to begin in the year 2026. This will mark a new stage in the development of Russia's air ambulance fleet and regional helicopter transportation. Previously, there was a serious risk that ANSAT helicopters fitted with foreign engines could be grounded due to sanctions. International manufacturers had declined to provide maintenance and technical support. The domestically produced version eliminates these risks, which is essential for sustaining and expanding medical and utility helicopter operations. The Mi-17-1 A3 medium multipurpose helicopter represents an advanced evolution of the well-known Mi-8 and Mi-17 family. This family is one of the most widely produced and recognizable helicopter platforms in the history of Russian aviation. The Mi-17-1 A3 has a maximum passenger capacity of 24 people, making it suitable for commercial transport and specialized missions. The cargo version of the Mi-17-1 A3 received its type certificate in December of 2022. Since then, work has continued to refine the basic design and expand operational flexibility. This includes certification of passenger and search and rescue configurations. In addition, the developer has been tasked with creating a certified offshore version of the Mi-17-1 A3. This variant must comply with international IOGP standards and meet the requirements of oil and energy companies. Offshore helicopters are used for transporting personnel and cargo to offshore platforms, conducting search and rescue operations over water, and operating in harsh maritime environments. To achieve this, the helicopter must demonstrate safe performance in icing conditions. It must also provide extended overwater range, increased service life of the airframe and fuel system, and improved survivability. These enhancements will be approved as a major design change within the existing type certificate. The K-60-2 medium multipurpose helicopter originally received its type certification in the year 2021. However, its heavy reliance on foreign components made large-scale production impractical under current geopolitical conditions. The original configuration depended on imported engines, transmissions, and several other critical systems. The import substitution program for the ka 62 involves replacing the transmission with domestically produced ATV-62 units. It also includes the integration of Russian-made VK-1600V engines and the development of a full suite of onboard systems. These systems include avionics, a crash-resistant fuel system, an integrated helicopter systems control unit, and other essential subsystems. So far, nine sets of ATV-62 transmissions have been manufactured for bench testing. In addition, four prototype engines have been reported as ready. These steps are essential for preparing the helicopter for flight tests using fully domestic components. Import substitution for the k 60 2 remains one of the most technically complex tasks in the Russian helicopter industry. This is due to the extensive number of foreign systems used in the original design. Despite this, Russian engineers are steadily replacing all key components with domestically produced alternatives. The successful completion of this effort will allow serial production to resume. It will also significantly strengthen the technological independence of Russia's helicopter sector. The certification and introduction into service of the Onsat M, I-17 1A3, and K-62 are expected to have a substantial impact on Russia's civil aviation industry. These helicopters will support the expansion of air ambulance services, medical evacuation, and regional passenger transport, particularly in remote and hard-to-reach areas such as the Arctic, Siberia, and the Far East. The availability of certified domestic helicopters will reduce reliance on foreign technology. It will also improve the resilience of aviation infrastructure and contribute to economic development in remote regions. In addition, these aircraft will enable new aviation services, including corporate transport, 
support for the energy sector, and complex search and rescue operations. The meeting held on December 10 marked a significant milestone in the implementation of Russia's civil aviation development strategy. Under the coordination of Rosaviatsia, large-scale efforts are underway to modernize and certify three major domestic helicopter platforms, the ANSAT-M, MI-17-1A3, and Kasisti-2. Ongoing work in import substitution and certification highlights the continued commitment of Russian engineers and industrial organizations to strengthening technological sovereignty. In the long term, Successful certification of these helicopters will not only modernize the domestic civil aviation fleet, but may also open new opportunities for exporting Russian helicopter technology to international markets. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.